everyone welcome to the channel i'll be making my own book and bands aka hate bands or tail bands today if you don't know what they are here's my example of a book look at the cornermost ends of the top and bottom of the book see that yellow red strap band there like a knitted ribbon that's what I'm talking about. Of course, there are many ways of doing it. Traditionally, it's being sewn onto the book. These days, they're pre-made. So what I need for my DIY are wool twine, a bone folder, scissors, and a fabric tape. This is the widest one I have. It's an old purchase from Daiso. Measuring 3 cm wide, about 1.2 inch. This is my first successful one. <laughs> it should do the job too if I want to use it. I've yet to use this pink strut tape. It's so old that it has yellowed. <laughs> I'm gonna cut about this length. Depends on how long an end band you need. I just want mine this long. So next, we gotta trim the twine. Always trim it longer than the fabric. So this will be my first method which I want to share with you. Something I think most would do if given these materials. but still sticky. You want the wool protruding two-fifths off the edge. So don't stick it exactly onto the middle. Really sticky gonna use my bone folder for assistance starting from the middle is actually the right way but this is proving to be a sticky challenge So here I'm trying to properly fold, pinching the fabric around the twine. But if you don't do it properly, it'll free like this. I'm still trying to make this work for you, but it's too sticky. Depends on your tolerance level, the first end band I did was through this method. Ah, I give up, but let me just show you a safer method. So the same material set up, only this time, I'm not peeling the backing paper totally. FYI, that backing paper is technically termed as release paper. I'm peeling only two-fifths of the sick paper from the top of the whole length. It'll still be a sticky task, but a bit more manageable than before. So once peeled, I'll fold it down.
So now, I'm lining my twine exactly on the folded line of the release paper, acting as the guideline. Then I'll use the bone folder to tap it down to stick it properly. I'll attempt to fold the fabric from the middle, holding the opposite release paper with my other hand. Basically, pinching the sticky fabric to wrap around my twine. Next, carefully peel a bit more of the paper, but not totally. Here's the trickiest part. I'm now carefully trying to paste the leftover bit down to the rest of the tape. Trick is to keep having a good hole on the release paper. So that's how the back of the tape looks now. Now with the pointy tip of my bone folder, I'm going to push the pasted fabric, making sure the twine is wrapped tightly at the top corner there. Doing it a few times to ensure it's tight. And that's it! I've made my DIY book and band. I can later trim it to whatever length I need it to be depending on the thickness of my book. I don't mind this being sticky as it'll eventually be pasted on the spine of the book with glue. For now, I'll use this release paper and paste it back on to store it away. Again, this was my first attempt at making an end band using this other fabric tape. It's still sticky here. I still keep the backing paper here. The same way, this is how I'll store it away. Honestly, I'm using fabric tape because I don't have any spare fabric and these fabric tapes I have in my stash came into mine. So I hope this may be helpful to some bookbinders out there. So thank you guys for watching, bye bye.